My name is Kenwin Murray. I was born in Trinidad and I grew up in Arima. Her resilience. She was a public servant, but she was also a, a seamstress and she would sew during the night time. And I remember her staying up at night sewing. And that has always stayed with me. If I have to go through a long project, you know, um, she would work any day and then stay up any night and sew and go back to work sometimes with no sleep. And I saw that resilience when she got ill, when she got cancer, she pushed through it. I mean, she eventually died from it, but with a great deal of courage, she came to that point. He had big hands, big hands. I mean, for me, I, I don't know if it's because I was younger, but they seemed abnormally huge. And, and that came from him being a mechanic. So along with his hands, I remember him working outside. I always thought his hands came from him hitting steel, having a ham in his hand, touching iron. And I felt that was a symbol of masculinity to me. But more than that, his hands were a symbol of work. I still hear the sound of an iron hammer hitting an iron engine. Pang, pang, pang day in day out you know and that's connected to these big hands and arima was such a nice place to grow up um arima is away from the city away from port of spain so it has this rural texture about it especially the time when i grew up arima was more grass and a view of the mountains Growing up in Arima, I felt connected to the history of the place. Arima has a, a large Amerindian population. I mean, I have stories of my ancestry also being Amerindian to some extent. I don't know how true. But you know, just by being in Arima, you felt connected to it. There's always rain in Arima. Always. It could be dry in Port of Spain and you hit Arima and it's showers. It, it, it was and it is a beautiful place. The answer that I am most comfortable with is that I am an artist. I can say that now without fear and say it now without feeling as vulnerable as I used to be. That is who I am. All of the decisions that I've made in my life move towards that point. To me, understanding myself as an artist. And it sounds simple to say, but it's not. And it's not simple to say. There is so much baggage around it. From as far back that I can remember, I've been told that art will not provide. I've been told that art is not a serious pursuit. I've been told that it is not good enough. So you might get a sense or get an understanding of where the trepidation came in to declare yourself as an artist. But you know what? That declaration needs to be made. Because when, when I decided to start to say that I am an artist. I had to, from that point on, back it up. And I had to understand for myself, what does that mean? I work at attempting to reflect our humanity back to us. I work at finding ways that I could be the best conduit for our emotional state, for our fears, our dreams, hope, heritage. So that is what I do. I believe all artists have an impulse towards creating. Some people have an impulse to being in the sea, some people have an impulse to healing or warfare or engineering. There's nothing different within art. You're born with that impulse. And if you've been fortunate enough to be encouraged in that stream, that's where it comes from. <laughs>